Hello, it's Pastor Doug back again with another Bible Brief. Today I want to take a look at my favorite verse to help understand and help one to read the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah is, I believe, the second largest book in the Bible. Only the Psalms is longer. And this book is amazing, but I think it's actually one of the hardest books in the Bible to read. It is complicated. It seems to go all over the place. Uh, it, 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 it will change stories and change years without it telling you. It seems to be just kind of put together almost in a haphazard uh, fashion. Uh, it is all over the lot. It is a very hard book to read. I, I think it would actually be one of the hardest books to preach through verse by verse. Now, don't get me wrong. It's the inerrant word of God. This is what we are to have, and it is beautiful. And there are some amazing statements in Jeremiah, especially about the nature of the new covenant and the worship of the Lord. But why is it so chaotic? And you even see that in the original texts. Jeremiah, when you compare the Greek and the Hebrew texts, uh, the Septuagint and the Masoretic texts, they're actually different. They don't teach different things, but they put things in different order and one shorter than the other, which is really kind of strange. Why? This verse helped me understand it. So this is Jeremiah 36, verse 27, and it reads, Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah after the king had burned the scroll and all the words which Baruch had written at the dictation of Jeremiah, saying. Now, that might seem not to be the most exciting book in Jer verse in Jeremiah, but man, this verse helped me understand the book. Notice what's going on. Jeremiah is writing through a scribe. Sometimes um, the biblical writers had scribes and, and would dictate things down. Sometimes scribes would collect things and put things together, like the book, the book of the Psalms. But here we have a scribe helping Jeremiah, which I think helps to understand the changing styles of the book. But notice what happens to the very first edition of Jeremiah. It's burned. The king himself burns the first edition of Jeremiah. And of course, it's not yet finished, at least by our modern standards. I mean, we're only on chapter 36, and there's a few more chapters to go. And this first edition of Jeremiah gets burned. Because why? Jeremiah lives in a time of great chaos and great judgment. And therefore, part of the tenor of the book is to, I think, teach you that there is this chaos. And when you read through Jeremiah, when you study through Jeremiah, and I encourage you to do, because it is an amazing book, and it's, of course, the inerrant word of God, you will hear this chaos, and I think it helps one understand what Jeremiah is going through. That it's so bad that even the word of the Lord, which comes to the prophet, is going to be burned. And by the way, it also helps you explain, you know, again, why some of the differences are in the Greek and Hebrew texts. Uh, one scholar actually pointed out that there might have been more than one copy of Jeremiah because you're going to go through a couple editions because at least one was destroyed. And so Jeremiah 36, 27, at least for me, helped me greatly understand the book of Jeremiah and to push through it even when it got chaotic because it shows you how horrible the world can be, that even the word of the Lord can be burned. But yet Jeremiah remained faithful and kept on preaching. And notice what's saying, you know, take up again, take again another scroll and write it in front and on it. All the former words are written on the first scroll that even the king of Judah burned, Yehoiakim. That shows great faithfulness. And it also, again, helps you read this amazing text. So, I hope that helps, and as always, Christ's grace to you all. Amen.